best and worst free agent signings. Ooh. Which one okay. do you want to start with? Best or worst? Well, there's a bad news first. <laughs> All right. Worst free agent signing. Give it to me. If you had to pick one. Okay. The worst free agent signing of 2022. This one, this one hurts me, Bruno, because the man who made this decision is like a god to me. He's actually from the t- place uh, I grew up in. Uh, there's an arena named after him in this town. Steve Eiserman giving Ben Sherratt a four-year deal at $4.75 million. Okay? Flabbergasted. Crazy. And I'm so confused because here was Steve Eiserman in Tampa Bay, never making a big free agent splash, never overpaying anyone, just like steady all the time, never panicking, never doing anything erratic. What is that deal? What That's is egregious. that deal? It's it's similar to the McKayev situation, or I say it's worse because I, I think Sherrod's a below average player. Whereas you could have got that for much less or with less term, you didn't have to commit that. And I remember when Sherrod was available at the deadline and everyone was saying, oh man, look what this guy did to the Leafs in the playoffs. It, I think it was Jay Fresh. He posted, it was like a 20 minute long video of every play Sherrod was involved in over all seven games against Toronto. Just clips, clips, clips for 15, 20 minutes. And I swear, Bruno, every second, third clip was him giving the puck away, him getting beaten in the corner, him losing a 50-50 battle, him not being able to get the puck out of his own zone, him getting walked. Like, I I don't get it with this player, and I don't see what people see. Lepore, I've gone over the analytics about Sherratt, especially in last year's playoffs, where when he was on the ice for the Habs during their Stanley Cup run, yeah, it was like a minus like 100 shot differential. Yeah, when he I was remember on the that. ice. Like it was bad. Yeah. And then the numbers clearly came out. like their worst, not their worst defenseman, but of like those big four guys, Edmund, Edmondson, Petrie, Weber and Sherratt, like he was easily the worst of the four. And that stuff came out last year with Florida where it's like his, uh, was it his, uh, his course? He was like the worst on the team by far, like, like over in the playoffs and like not even close. So I and don't the trade know. that they made for Sherrod, the first Again, round pick prospect. I think another draft pick involved, like just awful. I'm going to go full Homer mode here. Cause someone put this out there, out there. I think it was yesterday. I'm going to go full Homer mode. If someone told me right now, right now, the Toronto Maple Leafs could trade Giordano for Sherrod and Sherrod would come in at Giordano's price tag. I'd say no. Yep. Same here. I'd say no. And he's making a fifth of his money on a two-year deal. Like, where am I? I I, I don't understand. I I don't understand what people see in this player. And I am crazy confused, crazy confused that my boy, childhood hero, Steve Iserman, made that move. I'm I'm confused, Bruno. It's it's awful. And Lepore, I had the exact same player. Oh, that's boring. As the worst free agent (laughs) signing. It's easily Ben Sherratt. Like I said, I've gone through the analytics on this guy. And Habs fans, you can tell me how great he is all you want. He's physical and he gets under your skin. And I'm sure he does. He's physical. You know, he makes you think when you're on the ice just because of his physicality and his presence. But he's just not a very good player. It's as simple as that. And there's no way a player like that should be getting a shade under $5 million on a four-year contract. And it's crazy, like Lepore said, coming from Steve Eiserman, who is viewed as one of the smartest hockey executives in the NHL. So it's crazy. Second on my list was another defenseman, Eric Goodbranson, signing a four-year, $4 million contract in Columbus. That's also egregious. Yeah, you know which one I think was like subtly bad? The, the Ryan Strom deal. He got five times five. I was like, eh. like he's like a half a point. I don't love a- it, but I don't hate it. Yeah, I mean, he's like a half a point a game guy. I'm again, I think you can do better. I mean, it's kind of disappointing. I, I'm like personally disappointed because I really like how Anaheim's like up and coming, skilled and whatever. So I'm like, why'd you do that? Like, I, I don't know, but I, th- I thought that was like a a quiet one that probably should have um, deserved more negative attention. Yeah, anyone who's getting a five by five in free agency, you always got to kind of raise your eyebrow at it and think, is this going to is this going to go well? Because that's the number where it's like, well, he's not a star player. He's like a fine player. 
but you can get a fine player for less. So they're overpaying to give them five times exactly. five. You're hundred percent right. That's 100%. always the sketchy number. The, the, five, the number five, you five. don't want. 